Hey YouTube, Repo Man 64 What, you didn't think I was going to make a video too? What's going on? I can't, uh, I can't even, I, I'm surprised you're still here. This has started. We knew this was going to happen. Brenda Weltner's been yelling it that Israel would be surrounded. Here's what I'm thinking, and this is just a thought. Um, Biden goes on there and says, Nobody else attack Israel. That's like telling a kid, don't pick up candy. I mean, you're kidding me, right? Why would you even go on there and say that? Like, nobody respects him. So <laughs> why would you even say that? It's almost like saying, go ahead, do it. My theory is that the reason they're attacking so hard from the south is they're going to move all of Israel's military down towards the south, and they're going to do an attack on the north end as well. Uh, the Bible records that they'll be surrounded. So, man, we're here. We're here. We've been saying it for so long. Um, been working on this timeline for so long. Let me show you where we're at and uh, see where we're going. All right. Here on the timeline, this is where we're at right now. This is down here, Tishri 23, October the 7th. This is the day Jesus, Jesus was circumcised and named. Now, somebody brought to my attention, I had not noticed this before. I think it was in the Discord or a comment on YouTube. Tishri is the seventh month, right there, um, from, after, for Moses, after the law was changed in Exodus 12. Tishri is the seventh month. It is uh, for Noah, prior to the flood and prior to this law that was changed in Exodus 12, um, Tishri would have been uh, b basically their first month, Nisan. Um, well, I mean, it was Tishri, but it was the first month for them. So come back over here and they make this comment, which kind of blows my mind. It says that, did you notice that Tishri is the seventh month and on the 26th day, it'll be October the 10th and that's 726. I had never noticed that before. 726 means harpazo and rapture. I'm not trying to put this off. I'm saying that the rapture is literally going to occur any second. I've been outside all day mowing. My wife's made me mow. I don't know why. I told her the rapture is going to happen. She said, okay, go mow the lawn anyway. So I mowed the lawn and I've just been looking up and, uh, you know, wondering, is this going to happen now? Exactly how far out from? The attack on Israel, will this happen? I don't know. I'm looking at now, immediately. We've been saying this for a long time. It's kind of bittersweet. We knew it was going to happen, but we've been saying it for years. And we've just been like, man, you know. And the next date always brought us to the next date. And we're like, here's the next date. And then here's the next date. And it just keeps, we just kept going and going. We couldn't stop. We had to keep, it's like I said, you're on a raging river and you're stepping stone to stone, but it's so foggy you can't even see the next stone. You just have to have faith that when you take that next step, it's there. And I don't think any of the days were wrong. I think it was God leading us. And then now it appears that God has taken over the timeline. God has taken over the high watch days. We can surmise all we want, but we could have never made what happened just happen over there. And uh, I made a comment earlier, please, uh, please, before anything, pray for God's people. God loves the Jew. The Jew are his. If they hadn't done what they did, they would be the ones that were the bride. But they did what they did, so they are not. Um, but doesn't nonetheless, God loves them very much, so we pray for them. So keep Israel in your prayers that God uh, gives them protection. As this goes through, the next the next thing I'm going to be looking for is Damascus. Honestly, I'll be looking for Damascus. So I'm outside mowing, right? And then I see this. I'm not much of a cloud person, but look up there. That's a that's an A. I mean, like I've never seen that before. It's an A up in the clouds, <laughs> Alpha, Alpha and Omega. I didn't see an O, so I was like, eh, I'm not much again of a cloud person. But there's an A up there. Thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I want to remind you 
of this that I had found before, and um, we keep taking, you know, of course, we can't uh, discount anything until we until we get to it. At the time of Solomon's feast, all Israel with him, this is 1 Kings 8, 65, before the Lord, seven days and seven days, even 14 days. What happens on October the 14th? The Ring of Fire eclipse. Uh, he's the eighth day. The eighth day where uh, he sent them all the way to their tents is today. It is also the first day of the last seven days because there's a total of 14 days, not 15. There's a total of 14 days. And uh, remember that Jesus was born 14 days after the head of the year. And Jesus went to the cross 14 days after the head of the year. Here's the head of the year. Um, September the 15th, or September the 17th, sorry. Um, is that right? No, September the 15th. That's the beginning of the year. And 14 days later, we come over here to where Jesus was born. Same thing happens back here. Uh, we have the head of the year on March the 16th, and we have Jesus on the cross on March the 30th, 14 days later. So, does that 14 come into play now as far as um, when Jesus was born and 14 days he was born on the 30th and 14 days later is the ring of fire eclipse. There's a few high things to watch. Again, it's still, I know it has ended in Israel. We look to Israel, but there are Jews all around the world that will still be recognizing that today is the great eighth day, the last day of tabernacles. I want you to notice that the first bombs were dropped in Israel at the twinkling of an eye, at sunrise on the feet, the la and the great eighth day on the last day of tabernacles. That's when it happened. I saw it. I was, I was awake when it happened. I was shocked that it actually happened. I was sitting there going, Lord, th th today can't turn into a big nothing. There's something has to happen. And then all of a sudden, the news just started flooding in. We got the news about 45 minutes after it had actually started to happen because they've had so many small scrimmages over there. You never really knew. I mean, up till now, it's just like a date that we kept setting. Up till now, we just had dates, dates, dates. But then the same thing with them. They had up till now, they had all these little scrimmages going on, nothing major. But then this thing turned into something huge. 3,500, from what I heard last count, 3,500 to 5,000 bombs dropped on Israel. That's This is insane. So... We're in a very high watch moment right now. Any second this rapture could occur. Uh, it will continue, in my opinion, all the way through um, October the 31st. No, I don't think we're waiting until October the 31st is the day God judged Adam and Eve. It is also the day God judged the whole world and brought a flood upon the whole world. But on October the 24th, on Heshvon 10, on 8:10, Heshvon 10, um, Noah is ordered by God to go into the ark. This is the day that Methuselah dies. Remember, Methuselah was 900, was it 969, 969 years old. Noah buries his grandfather. He goes inside the ark and he sits there with the ark door open for seven days. All the animals are inside. And remember, they're all babies. They're all small. They're easy to maneuver. I found all this in the book of Enoch um, when I read it. And the only thing I gleaned from the book of Enoch, like I've said before, no, the book of Enoch does not belong in the Bible. If you don't have a firm grasp on the Bible, you should not read the book of Enoch. I see these people constantly making the silliest statement, why did they take the book of Enoch out of the Bible? They didn't. God did. God assembled the Bible. The Bible is assembled exactly the way God wanted it to be. The book of Enoch does not belong in there. Once you know the Bible and you understand the Bible and you've figured out salvation and you're saved and you have a firm grasp, then you read the book of Enoch and it just shows you more information. There is a part in the book of Enoch which I thought was, and I've even mentioned this to my friends, I'm like, it's so strange that we're going to be raptured out of here and there won't be that moment of, I told you so. I warned you. I told you this was going to happen. 
the I told you so moment. He, uh, Noah got that, you know. Uh, the, 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 the book of Enoch records that when it started raining and God had shut the door, they were outside banging on the door saying, let us in. And he said, oh, now you want to come in. Now you believe. Now you want to be saved. Just a week ago when I went inside the door and sat there for a week waiting for you when there was no rain coming, they didn't even know what rain was because the water was already on the ground. It didn't, wasn't up in the sky. One week ago, when I came in here and sat, sat, sat in the ark, for 120 years I've warned you about this. For the last five years since Lamech died, you watched me build this ark. And now you're outside banging on the ark to come. He's like, sorry, I told you so. This is the same thing that's happening right now. And that's why I was like, is this the I told you so moment where we can be like, We've been warned. It's not too late. It is not too late for you to go into that quiet place by yourself. Nobody needs. You don't need to be prideful about it. You don't need to tell somebody that you're about to go do it. You don't need any witnesses. This is a private moment between you and your father, and accept the Lord in your heart. We're out of time. I've said that. I've said that for two years. Now we see what happened in Israel. We are out of time. There is no more time for this. The last one of you. And again, the date was set by God from. The very beginning, he already knew the date. The date is not imminent. The date is exactly when God said it would be. And it was always written in the Bible. We just had so much code in here, we couldn't figure it out. We couldn't figure it out until God showed us Israel becoming a nation in 1948. We couldn't figure it out until this war broke out in Israel just now. Remember, the rapture is an event that is taking us out of imminent danger. I look outside right now, there's no imminent danger to me. This imminent danger is going to be worldwide. So whatever just started is going to escalate. When the father, when the mother and father argue in the car, the children will begin to argue. When Israel, the most technologically advanced country on the face of the earth, begins to get into a fight, everyone else is going to join in. Watch what happens with uh, Russia and watch what happens with Taiwan. Things are going to really begin to take off now and there will be a need to rescue us out of danger, a rapture event. So this date to us, while we view it as imminent, it's never been imminent. It's been written in stone before the foundations of the world. Before everything, that date was already known. God already knew how this would play out. It must be rough being an omnipotent God, knowing how everything's going to turn out before it does. It's, it's, it's got to be, that would be rough. So let me get back into the pictures real quick. Where were we? Real quick. I don't want to make a super long video just because I think you all are getting hammered with this. I just want to put my two cents in as well that we are almost going home. Again, we find the same thing in Second Chronicles 7, 8 where this feast, and now this time they're giving us an exact day of when the eighth day is. And on the three and twentieth day of the seventh month, he sent the people away to their tents, glad and merry. Let's go back, whoops, let's go back to the timeline. The three, the twenty-third day, well, come on, the twenty-third day of the seventh month is where we're at right now, Tishri 23. The seventh month is Tishri, Tishri 23, October the 7th. It's still October the 7th. It is still the last day of tabernacles somewhere on this planet. I know California is three hours earlier than me, so it's literally only 1251 out in California right now. It's 351 here where I am. By the time you watch this video, it'll be another 30 minutes because I have to upload it. So we could possibly be going home now today we could possibly any time any moment between now october the 14th october the 24th when that door is opened uh from methuselah i don't want to even think about the next you know what is that 17 days i don't even want to think about that i think it's going to happen any moment but keep your eyes open we're we are here we're in it right now everybody's going to everybody that has a gift Right now, every single person I know, and I've watched all the YouTubes, 
just buzzing. Everyone with a gift. I'm no different. As soon as I saw that, I went straight to my timeline and said, this is still Tishri 23. It's still, it happened at a twinkling of an eye. First thing in the morning, for Israel, they attacked. And I'm like, there's some super significance going on here. And then everyone with their gift has made a video on, hey, look at this. This is what I see. Hey, and I'm no different. We're in the timeline and I'm showing you uh, the next event will be the Ring of Fire Eclipse. And then the next event after that will be the day God told Noah to get into the ark. And he sat at that doorway for seven days. All right. Let's get back to the pictures right here. I showed you that here, right? September the 24th is the day that Methuselah died and the ark doors open and Noah sits at the entrance. He sits there for seven days. He tells everybody, this is it. This is it. This is your last warning. You have seven days to get in here. God told me he's going to shut the door in seven days and nobody listened. They laughed at him as they, he built the ark. They laughed at him for 120 years. They laughed at him for the last five years. Um, until October the 31st, Halloween Day, the flood began. That's what Halloween represents, you know. It doesn't represent uh, something evil or witchcraft or anything like that. Halloween literally represents <coughs> sorry, the day that God judged Adam and Eve and it's also the day that God flooded the planet. This is the day of justice. This is not the day of of evil spirits or whatever you want to call it. They might have become evil spirits because there was nobody for them to occupy any longer as soon as the flood occurred. Remember that uh, Adam, sinning on October the 31st, was removed from the garden right here on the last day of Hanukkah to vet one. December the 15th. So, we're in it right now. We're in a very high watch. Oops, I did that again. Let me do this. Let me see here. Uh, 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 uh. And I read that extra seven days. The menorah. Uh, this is tough. And I saw this. Even tide trouble. This, this is basically before the morning is not... So this is telling us two things, either at evening or in the morning. And we know that Israel's war kicked off first thing in the morning. We're still in Shemini Atzeret. Uh, yeah, so on the 30th, 29th at night, on the 30th, September the 30th, Jesus is circumcised and given his name. Seven. Are we in a seven-day period right now that uh, Brenda Weltman keeps talking about uh, where we're, we aren't changed, but... Maybe the books were closed, and that's it. Everyone that was going to become saved was saved. That one sheep of the 100 sheep, he left the 99 behind to go get the one. Is, th is that the last one that's already been caught on the 30th, today? And then we sit here for seven days. Not in glorified bodies. Maybe we are. I don't know if she's correct or not. But, it, uh, of course, she's bringing her gifts to her video and saying, see, I told you, and she has been, she's been saying it the entire time, that a war must break out in Israel before the rapture occurs. And she's very excited because, in fact, she, she is correct. A war actually has broke out in Israel. A lot of people are like, no, a war doesn't have to break out. Well, guess what? She was right. A war did break out in, in, uh, on Shemini Atzeret, just like it did last year, they, uh, 50 years ago, I'm sorry. The last jubilee, a war broke out, and here we are. The last day of tabernacles, 50 years later, exactly to the very day, again, a war breaks out. And on the 14th, October the 14th, the ring of fire eclipse. And then 10 days later, we see where Noah goes into the ark. Uh, October the 4th, I'm not sure why I have two of those. I saw this. 222. Uh, I was just, I did this before I this all happened. I was going to show you once again that if you don't start the year on March 17th, if you start it on any other day, the sun will not go through that water. Go into town, find a man, bearing a picture of water, rent the upper room. That was stated in all three Gospels, slightly different in each one, depending on what group you belong to in Luke. Um, in Luke is the only one where the 
apostles that he sent were actually named. They were named. Remember when you read the book, uh, the Bible here. Uh, okay. When you read the Bible here and you go to Revelation, uh, what one is it? You go to the seven churches. You go down here. I'm on the wrong one. Hold on a second. Church of Philadelphia. I want you to notice down here at the bottom. He names us three times. It's almost as if we get a name from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because it says in here that we're named the same name, but three different types. Almost like all three recognize our name. And the reason is, is because we're going to be one with Jesus. We're going to be up there with God and Jesus in the third heaven. The bride is as close to Jesus as you can get. There will be a great multitude there. They will not carry a rod of iron, get a mansion, have a banquet with Jesus, drink of the... Actually, he did say that in all three Gospels, so they probably will drink wine with him as well. Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar of the temple of God. He shall go no more out, and I will write upon him my name of my God. I will pro, uh, write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write, notice how it says three different times, so, write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is Jerusalem. And I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, who hath an ear? This is the elect that's going to hear this. The saints are not going to hear this. Uh, he that hath an ear, let him hear with, saith the Spirit unto the churches. All right, let me get back to the pictures. So, <clears throat> I, this was just more, I just wanted to show that my timeline is correct. And here we are on the last day of Shemini Atzeret, which just absolutely proved that this timeline is accurate. The head of the year is March 17th. And uh, we don't use the moon. I get all that sliver money from Commander Kelly uh, when we get to heaven because uh, he says it's the first sliver. But it can't be. Uh, make it clear, real clear. Commander Kelly, you, may, you owe me a bunch of money. You owe me a bunch of sliver moon money. The Bible says that if you believe in the hidden day that you will look for that first sliver of the moon. That's not what they were looking for. They were looking for that star algae obscuring along the horizon. They knew the day of equal parts in March, but the day of equal parts does not line up with the four star algae in September. It actually takes 10 more days, 10 and a half more days for it to, uh, for them to know whether or not they were accurate. They have to keep very close records. So the Bible is super clear that you do not follow the moon when you're looking at um, tabernacles because it says it has to start on a Saturday. It has to end on a Saturday. It doesn't care about the moon. It does not care about the moon. The Bible is abundantly clear that this event, this tabernacles will begin on a Saturday. It doesn't say at the first sliver. It doesn't say anything. As a matter of fact, the, the Jews know it as well, because if they did start their year at the first sliver, they would have never started it on September the 15th. If they did start it on September the 18th or 19th, like I see a bunch of people saying, and I'm like, if that's your first day, how are you going to justify that just, what is it? Uh, when, does, when does it begin? 15 days later, exactly 15 days later, how do you justify that you're going to start your Feast of Tabernacles, not aligning with the moon whatsoever, except it's going to be on a Saturday. So, a little bit of, uh, I'm right, in there. <laughs> All right, let me get back into this. March 17th is the first day of every year. Look where the sun will be in 3030 on March 17th. This is where it will be in 2030. This is where it will be in 3030. It will have just made it through that water. 1,000 years of the millennium, it will, just, it will have just made it through that water. Look what happens when you use March the 21st. Just four days later in 3030, it will not make it through that water. 
March the 17th is the only day that we can use. Look at this. This is crazy. This is crazy. I heard that in Israel, they can be armed like we can here in the United States. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm armed to the teeth. That stuff was happening outside my door. Um, I'd be in the closet hiding. I wouldn't be shooting at <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but look at that. That's crazy. Israel. That's insane. They're under attack. And again, this happened right at sunrise. Oh, that's that A that I saw. Oh, getting the helmet and the motorcycle gloves dusted off, getting ready to get to heaven, to get on my busa so that I can ride back and forth to earth to do my job during the millennium. It's going to be great. And then, of course, we still have this. This came through about, the first comment came through a day ago. The second one came through about two hours ago. Mike, one day ago, Jerusalem time for us in the USA, the great eighth day of tabernacles. Yes, exciting times we live in. We all are looking to live with our Lord Jesus. This is the heart of a watcher. This is the heart of somebody that can hardly wait for this rapture to occur. This is a beautiful thing right here for the rest of eternity patience is hard for us you ain't you ain't kidding it sure ain't it is hard it is hard being patient patience is hard for us yet god has been patient with us ah do we ever think about that side of the coin how patient god has been with us while we are whining and complaining about why isn't he back yet god's like uh god's the one that's been the most he's the one that's patient the race is about over. Keep running. Stay strong on the Lord. Praise to our great Lord. Stay blessed. Be seeing you soon. And then about an hour, two hours ago, this guy, I scratched out his name because I don't want him to get any, any, uh, anybody going over to his channel being mean to him because I know that's what will happen. We don't need to be mean to him. Here's a saint. I want to point you out a saint. I guess this is what you guys would call mocking. I don't. This doesn't bother me. But I think this is what really affects some channels when they see this. They allow this one negative comment to affect them somehow uh, amongst the other thousand fantastic, wonderful watching community comments that happened prior to this. I don't. I don't. I don't allow this to bother me one iota. I know exactly who this is when I see it. And I pray that this person, they, they must believe they're here, right? This, the world's not here on my channel. The world is not looking for any of this. You t go out in the street and talk to anybody about what's about to happen. I went to, uh, I went to uh, uh, what's it called, Ace Hardware to pick up some yardsticks because my wife's putting blow-ups out there. And I, I go there and... Uh, Talk to a guy. I'm like, did you hear Israel got attacked? He's like, yeah. I'm like, yep, end of days. We're about to go home. He's like, you think so? I'm like, oh, I know so. This is it. We're about to get uh, the rapture's about to occur. He's like, I've, I've been wondering if that was biblically. I'm like, oh, it's super biblical. I said, you need to go home and pray. It's about to go down. So here's his comment. And we're still here. I'm really sick of this guy repo man 64 pulling random dates out of a hat. At least he didn't say ass. He said hat. That was nice of him. He mocks God and he will find out real fast that God will not be mocked. Repo man is a fool. Yeah. So those types of comments do not bother me at, uh, at all. I don't. Uh, I, this is one of the first times I ever will put credence to any of them. And the reason I do that is because I want you to see who we're dealing with. Does anybody in here believe that I have stated that the rapture was going to occur on a specific day? That's what some people actually hear. But you will see that I will say a very high watch day, a very high probability of a rapture. This date lines up with my timeline, so let's pay attention to this date. It could be the rapture. You'll never hear me say, God told me that on this day the rapture would occur and we would be going home. I've never actually, I've never said that. So, but that's what he hears. And it's the same thing that we read in the Bible is just like I read that passage 
that he gives those who have understanding more understanding. He lets those who hear, hear. Those who see, see. Uh, just like when we're named three times, let those who have understanding know what's happening. We understand that verse. We understand that we were named three times. We know that there's a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We know that means that that group, whoever that is that they're talking about, is going to be in the third heaven with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So, don't allow those kind of comments to affect you. That is a tribulation saint. That, dear brother right there, when the rapture does finally occur and he is left here, He's going to need everything that he can get his hands on to figure out when he's going. And I still don't know. I can't figure out when ours is. How am I supposed to figure out when theirs is? But they will have a firm basis to begin with as the moment of the rapture. I know that the war in Israel began at twilight in Israel, in Israel time, which is about 11. It happened last night about 1130, right? I think that would be about 1130 at night last night, 1120, something like that is when the first attack began when they maybe when they crossed over into the into Israel so leave as much behind as you can don't get angry at the saints they're going to make those rude comments um they think it's okay to do that and um at the end of the day they'll be here and they'll be like but i i told repo man that that was wrong i told him he was an idiot and that, uh, you know, he's going to suffer for what he did for trying to figure this out. And God's going to be like, now it's your turn. Try to figure it out. You're going to need to go watch all of these, watch watch people's, watch men's video, watch women's videos to figure it out. Now, you should have just been watching and writing everything down. Maybe you could have been a part of the bride. All right, let me keep going here. Check this out. The only reason I snapshotted this thing, I think that, uh, I think Commander Kelly over at Cool Cat um, had uh, made a statement that there were 12 earthquakes so far today around the world. Was he say 12 or 20? I don't recall. I just got this off of World News Report. Look at the time there, 11-11. Are you kidding me right now? October the 7th, 2023 at 11-11 a.m., this huge earthquake hits Afghanistan. That's right over there in that region. Like I told you yesterday in the live, the uh, destruction of Damascus will not be brought about by Israel. Israel, God cannot have the entire world being upset at Israel. The destruction of Damascus is either going to be them trying to shoot off a nuclear bomb and it fails and levels Damascus, they, they wipe themselves out, or something supernatural like an earthquake or something incredible will happen to destroy that town. If you're in Damascus, get out. Now's the time to get out. Get out of there. Um, so it cannot be Israel that initiates this. It, God does not want the entire world angry at Israel. What needs to happen is the whole world's going to be like, oh, poor Israel. And this person is going to show up and he's going to be like, I can fix this. And there you go. You'll just like in Second Thessalonians, it is called a gathering for a reason. They are going to see this great apostasia. That is the rapture of the bride. Every firm believer in Jesus, the blood only of Jesus Christ um, will be taken off the face of their earth. Everyone else who's like has their works and has and are just kind of yeah i'm watching but eh, i don't know it might it might not happen they're just not into this enough to see what we're all seeing which is making us all kind of excited um those will be left behind and they'll get their day so but what will happen with damascus is this guy will show up going i can fix all this poor israel they didn't do anything wrong Look what Damascus did to themselves, and that's when you'll see that, just like you see it in Second Thessalonians. This great apostasy, this great falling away will happen, and then the man of sin will be revealed. It's simple. First Thessalonians, that's the bride being taken away. Second Thessalonians, it starts talking about how much troubles they have, all these terrible things, this great apostasy. Oh, and the man of sin, how long is that going to take? That's up to the saints to figure out. They're going to be doing this. 
How long after? I don't know. Are we going here momentarily and then they go on the 14th? Are we going on the 14th and then they go on the day the ark door is open and Noah goes inside that ark door and sits on October the 24th? Ten days in prison? I don't know. But we're here. We're at it. It's about to go down. Keep watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will be in the live chat of Cool Cat if he's on tonight. I think he said he was going to do a live tonight. Love his lives. And uh, we'll see you in there uh, in Cool Cat's live chat tonight. All right. Repo Man 64. We might never talk to you again on YouTube. We might do this face-to-face -face in heaven very shortly.